Mongoose and Pandit Zwei Once upon a time, a pandit found a baby mongoose. Its mother was dead, so he lifted it in his hands and said, Poor kid, I shall look after you. And the pundit took him home. He had a small baby of his own. He told his wife, Darling, take this mongoose baby. Its mother was dead, so I brought it with me. From now onwards, we shall call it Manaku. That's all right, but it's a wild animal. And we have a small baby at home, so we can't keep it with us. Look at this innocent creature. How lovingly he is admiring you. Take it as your child. Love begets love. Fine, as you please. But, won't it harm the baby? No, not at all. Then it's fine with me. I shall look after it as my own baby. Manaku started growing up with their baby and soon was big and his teeth were sharp. But he loved to play with the little toddler. Listen, I'm going to fetch water from the river. Take care of the baby. Yes, my better half. He's playing with Manaku, so worrying unnecessarily. I know that. But why don't you understand? It's a wild animal. Don't worry. Nothing will happen. You go. I shall take care. Oh, why don't you understand? Manku has very sharp teeth now. We have to be very careful. I told you, Manaku will never harm its brother. The lady went to fetch water and Panditji went to perform puja at a neighbor's house. A snake entered the house and started approaching the toddler. snake where is it coming to oh it's going to the toddler and snake is my biggest enemy Manaku fought with the snake and killed it And as he came out of the house to show his bravery, the Panditji's wife, who was returning, saw him with blood in his mouth and she screamed. Oh, wild animal! What have you done? You thankless creature! You killed your own brother! You don't deserve to live! And she hit Manuku with a bucket full of water. She uttered to herself, Oh God, my baby! Why? Why did I leave my baby with this mongoose? Why did I agree to look after this wild animal? Oh God, my baby! When she entered her house, she was stunned to find the baby merrily playing and there beside him was a dead bleeding snake. 
she then realized what had actually happened and felt very very sorry that she had thought that manaku had harmed her baby she started crying bitterly moral of the story haste makes waste